Desert Harvesters welcomes you to Tucson, Arizona, located in the Sonoran Desert in the Southwest United States. This region reflects a unique and very special environment, boasting more plant species than any desert in the world, including the iconic saguaro cactus. In this video series, we'll share our deep love of this region and hope to inspire you to learn more about Sonoran Desert landscapes and wild foods. Desert Harvesters is a nonprofit, community based group that has served the Tucson community for over 20 years. Our work is centered in food and economic justice, place based permaculture, and rewilding urban spaces. These practices reflect our respect for the rich history of indigenous peoples and food cultures unique to our home. We value shared collaborations and knowledge and hope to expand the art and craft of place-based living in a diverse and thriving community. This Rewilding Taste Buds and Neighborhoods video series features native Sonoran Desert foods in their seasons of harvest throughout the year. You will learn about how to identify, rewild, and ethically harvest, as well as process, use, and celebrate these nutritious and delicious foods. Yeah, see, it's not really dry enough. It's, it's not dry enough yet. Yeah, it's dry enough now. Today we're going to be making a creosote salve. This is the chaparral or creosote or Hediondilla, or Gobernadora, one of the strongest and most potent medicinal herbs in the Sonoran Desert. Chaparral is an amazing plant, and lots of times what I like to do is call her um, our desert auntie, because she's antimicrobial, antioxidant, antifungal, antibiotic, anti-inflammatory, antiparasitic. So it's really an amazing herb for cuts and sprains and bruises. You can bathe in a, a bath of it for rheumatism, help with aching joints. But today the salve as an external remedy is what we're making. We're going to use creosote, dried and ground creosote, a little bit of desert lavender, olive oil, and beeswax to make our salve. So after you've dried and ground the herbs, you need to steep them in the olive oil, which can take anywhere from a couple of days if you're using some heat to a month. Um, a lot of herbalists will use, they'll steep in olive oil. They'll start on the new moon and wait at least till the full moon to decant. So I'm gonna pour the olive oil over the powdered creosote until I have it covered by about a half. The desert lavender will add a hemostatic quality to the salve. Let's say that this was a half of a cup of finished steeped herb. The ratio of beeswax to make it into a solid is about one ounce to one cup of finished oil. So if you were going to put it on low heat or put it in an open solar oven after a day or two, you would notice that most of the color of the herb had, had gone into the oil. And that's how you know that the medicinal properties have given up their goodness into the oil. And same way if you're going to do it at room temperature and you're going to let it sit for a few weeks or a month, same thing. You'll notice the color of the oil will be a, a brighter green than the material itself. So if we've gotten to that point, 
we would want to strain the solids out of the oil. And there you can use all kinds of cloths, you could use a tea strainer, and then you would strain it into a container that you could heat on the stove with some water in a bowl of water and you would heat that up to just warm enough to melt your beeswax. So this is the finished salve. It's a wonderful healer for any kind of skin irritation. One caveat is there are a few people that are that have an allergy to creosote. And so best if you've never used it before to test it on your skin on a small place on a tender skin, maybe the inside of your wrist, to see if you have any kind of reaction. For more self-care product recipes, please see our cookbook on using wild desert ingredients. Thank you for watching Desert Harvester's Rewilding Taste Buds in Neighborhoods video series about seasonal harvesting and edible plants. We invite you to supplement your knowledge with resources available on our website and social media. We're at desertharvesters.org. Click below for more information, including recommended links and recipes. One, two, three. Mountains call